Very briefly, let's discuss now a few of the minhagim and halachot that pertain to Shavuot Shachab and Tisha B'Av. We know the week of Tisha B'Av, the, the level of mourning, the level of the severity of our avelut that we practice is at the highest degree. So a few, in addition to all of the prohibitions that already began in these nine days from Rosh Chodesh, there are a few more that we have to understand that apply during the week of and we'll address a few of them today. First of all, uh, the, the idea of a laundering, wearing laundered clothing. So the Halakha explains that the week of the Shabbat for us, Faradim, we don't do laundry and we don't even wear freshly laundered clothing as well. So it's a double, it's, it's both. It's not just actively we can't wash clothing, but also when we wear our clothing, it needs to be already have been worn. So that's why we always teach this Halakhot a few days prior so we have enough time to prepare your outfits. All you need to do is wear a shirt or wear a pants half an hour or so and that consider, makes it considered worn and therefore it's no longer freshly laundered and you'll be allowed to wear it in Shavuot Shachabot Tisha B'Av. So again, this applies from Motzei Shabbat this week until the fast which is Tuesday. Those few days, these, all these halachot are pertain to those few days. So that's number one, we have to make sure uh, we, wear, we don't wear freshly laundered clothing. Undergarments, undershirts, underwear, according to Ravada, those are called Bigdiz Zea and that would be permitted to wear fresh. Some want to be, some are machmin, they try to prepare those as well, but the, from the letter of the law, there's no obligation to do so. Just the, the clothing we're on top, that's important to have it already designated and already been worn. Now, wine, although the minhag in the Mishai community is to refrain from drinking wine throughout all nine days, by Havdalah, it's permitted by Havdalah, you're, we're allowed to consume the wine because it's for the mitzvah, we can make Havdalah in a cup of wine, and that's no problem. Getting haircuts and shaving, that's a is prohibition. So. Uh, according until now, it was minhag based from the letter of the law according to the Sfaradim. Until now, it's okay to get a haircut or shave. But Shavuot Shachab or Tisha B'Av, the week of Tisha B'Av, Halakha prohibits shaving and getting haircuts according to the Sfaradim. We refrain from doing so because it, uh, to enhance the morning, understand the severity of the Chuban Habayit. Lastly, for now, children's laundry. So uh, if there's a great need, meaning Baruch Hashem family has many children and the laundry piles up, the Rav, the Orle Tzion, Rav, Rav Ben Tzion Abashul explains that until the age of six or seven, you, the mother would be allowed, or mother or father would be permitted to launder their children's clothing if there's a need. So this, the whole laundry halacha applies to us, the adults. When it comes to the children's clothing, we may do laundry if there's a need. Again, for no, if there's no need, if you have enough clothing, it's better not to. But if there's a need, Rav Adi says until three, but Rav Ben Tzion Abashul says until six or seven years old, and Rav Chaim agrees with that. So if there's a great need, we can launder the children's clothing until the age of six or seven, even in Shavuot Shachabot Tisha B'Av. But when it comes to adult clothing, we refrain from doing so, even if it's preparing for after the Chag, for after the, 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 the fast. If it's your, we don't launder clothing, so we have clothing for after the fast as well. We refrain from doing that altogether during these night, during the Shavuot Shachabot Tisha B'Av. Hashem, we, these are the last times we have to mention these halachot. Have a wonderful day.